Hello guys and welcome back to another Buju vlog. So, long time no see and you're probably getting this hair for the first time but if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw my new makeover because the last time that I appeared here on my channel with my face, I had white hair under here and now it's bright red and I love it. So I hope you are all well today. I'm here because I have a couple of announcements and things to talk about with you. I haven't been able to film with my face because my camera has been having some problems lately. My blue journal setups have been pain to film because my mirror where I see what I'm filming it has been upside down the whole time and I even bought a mirror to put on my tripod so now I can see like the reflection of what I'm filming and it's straight it's upright and it's not upside down because that was a headache and I haven't been able to film with my camera like this for a while my camera still has this problem but for now it's straight it's upright yesterday I filmed my October setup and it was okay so I decided to film this video right now so for this video I wanted to start by talking about something that I decided to start doing and I already did in August and if you follow my Instagram you already saw that I'm now selling grab bags of my stationery but now I'm selling selling stationary grab bags just like the first stock and I'm selling washi tape samples grab bags that I will talk about in a little bit. So I have a highlight on my Instagram, I'll put it here, where I talked about everything about the grab bags and I'm going to update those highlights once these new ones are ready for people to buy them. But I didn't do like a sneak peek or anything for YouTube, so if you don't follow my Instagram you probably missed the whole stock about the grab bags, so stay tuned for that on my Instagram stories. But basically this is one of the packs that I already made. It's just like a normal C5 envelope. I did a little upgrade on the envelopes and these stationary grab bags look like this. I don't know if you can see. This is just one example. Not all of them look like this. So first of all, I wanted to mention that I'm selling these grab bags just because I have too much stationery and most of the stationery that I have are things that I'm not going to use or that are not my style or things that I have a lot of and that in probably in like 10 years I'm not going to use all of it. So instead of having the stationery that I have now plus the stationery that I will keep receiving from brands and things that I buy, I decided to just do like a little decluttering and decide what stationery I can sell to you guys and what stationery I can keep. So basically all of these things are used items or new items that I bought or got for free from brands, but they are all in good condition and I'm just selling them because it's either buying new storage for my stationery or getting rid of some. So now I'm going to go through the grab bag and what you can get inside the grab bag. So these packs have papers, so like origami papers, book pages, craft paper, some ephemera, notepad papers, things like that that are like A5 or like the square of an origami paper if that makes sense. That is in the paper category. These packs also include stickers as well as washi tape samples. And the washi tape samples, it's like between 8 and 12 washi tape samples and they come like this. I don't know if you can see but they are just swatched, they are thick and they have a little sticker so you know from which store I bought them because then I will include a little business card with my coupon codes and everything so you can get washi tape samples and you also get ephemera like stickers that are not really sticky or post-its or little papers, some things like that that you can use in your pen pal envelopes and letters and everything or gift to your pen pals. And these packs are just filled with stuff to create things with. And what I noticed is that from people that bought my first grab bags is that they prefer to buy these grab bags with random things because you will not know what each grab bag has, you just know the quantity, kind of, and the theme of the grab bag. But these people that bought my previous grab bags, they mentioned that it's cool to buy grab bags that are like mysterious. So you can just play around with stationery instead of buying the whole pack of things from like AliExpress or something like that. And it's much fun to buy the stationery grab bags. 
And because I have so many washi tape rolls, I decided to also try to sell grab bags with just washi tape samples. The washi tapes are going to come in this little envelope and this is the C6 envelope, I think. And here are an example of the washi tapes that you can get. Of course that each pack is different, but I try to mix and match all the colors. So you have orange, vintage, another colorful, blue, pink, some with like gold accents and neutrals. And this helps me to clear out my space when it comes to washi tapes because I have so many and I don't have enough space to store all of them. So that is the announcement about the stationary grab bags. I'm really excited because the first time they sold out in three hours and I did 25 packs and now I did 23. I'm not going to pack more because I'm going to do this every three or four months. So I'm going to have new things to sell in like maybe January or something like that. So for now I'm selling 23 packs of the stationary grab bags and five of the washi tape samples. I only packed this one because I don't know if they are going to sell or not and if people are interested in the washi tape samples grab bags. But if you're interested, keep an eye on my Instagram and follow my personal Instagram as well because now I have a new hair and I'm going to post a bunch of pictures. So if you haven't followed me there, make sure to do it. And before I move on with the rest of the vlog, this video is sponsored by Taskaid. So as you probably know, I love to organize my life, make to-do lists and have everything planned out when it comes to things that I have to do. And even though I have a bullet journal, I prefer to organize most of my lists digitally. And recently, I started using Taskaid for that. Taskade is an app that incorporates to-do lists, mind maps, video chats and so much more. It has pretty much everything you need in order to only use Taskade as your only app for organization instead of using multiple apps. With Taskade, you have everything here. What I love the most about it is that you can transform any projects you have into a to-do list or a board or even a mind map. I am a visual person, so sometimes having my digital weekly spread as a huge to-do list doesn't work, but having it as a board works wonders for me. For example, I used Taskade to brainstorm about how I was going to sell the grab bags and the prices and the items inside and everything and it was a huge help because all of the points were clear to me and they were easy to understand and they were just there and I could change between a map and a board and it was just so easy to use. So if you want to give Taskade a try, make sure to check out the pinned comment down below as well as the description box and use code CATSPLANNERYT at checkout for 100% off for the first 1000 users. Again, that's CATSPLANNERYT at checkout for 100% off for the first 1000 users. And thank you so much Taskade for sponsoring this video. So it's another day and if you recognize these two binders, you know what I'm going to do today. Today I'm going to reorganize my sticker collection. So I did a video months ago, I think it was in 2020, organizing my sticker collection in these binders. And I haven't done an update on that and I have this pile of sticker sheets to organize and so I am going to do that today. So this jade binder contains all of my sticker flakes so you might have seen this if you watched my other video i posted a reels a while ago with my stickers and i have a box with other small stickers like these um, that my pen pal sent me recently that i have to organize them in here but this jade binder only contains sticker flakes and other little things that may not be stickers but I consider them as stickers or things that I used for a theme in that I still have some leftovers, things like that and I have to organize the ones that are in that box in here and then I have this lime green binder with sticker sheets and this is completely full, I don't know if you can see but it's super thick and I can't fit here any more pockets because it's totally full and sometimes when I'm just like going through my stickers this is super full and some of the pockets come out but thankfully I finally got some more pockets I got a hundred of them because um, you know I love stickers and these are from this brand Ember and 
yeah, they are super thick and they are amazing. And if you watched my other video where I showed you how I organized my um, sticker collection, you already know this, but if you didn't, I'm going to link it here in the cards as well as in the description. And I got a new binder for sticker sheets. Okay, so now I'm organizing my sticker sheets in my binder and the only thing that I didn't film was me organizing my sticker flakes in the other binder because that takes a long time and I organize it a bit differently than the way that I used to do on the other video. So I didn't film that but I'm going to briefly explain the things that I do differently now. So in that video that it's linked down below, I took the back paper out of the sticker and I stuck the sticker on the plastic bag in the front. So this caused a problem because then if I would gift that sticker to one of my pen pals, I had to take them out of the plastic, stick them to parchment paper and then cut out the sticker and gift it to my pen pals. But this caused a problem because some of the stickers that were already stuck on the plastic, when I was going to take them out, they would rip and then I just didn't have the good sticker to give to my pen pal. And that was like a huge problem for some stickers because some of them are low quality, so the glue is also not great. And the other problem was that I tried to think about how my pen pal would receive the sticker. So they would receive the sticker in a parchment paper, but I didn't know if the sticker would be sticky still. So instead of doing that, now what I do is I keep the sticker as it is with the back paper and I just take some washi tape, I roll it down and I stick the washi tape onto the sticker and then to the plastic. So I think you can see in my recent pen pal with me videos, but now what I do is I just take out the sticker out of the plastic with the washi tape on the back and then I just use the sticker and if it's to give to my pen pals I just take the washi tape out of the sticker and it's a brand new sticker like normal sticker basically that's what I do now differently when I filmed that video I thought that it was easier to take the paper back out but to be honest that is a huge headache so now that's how I do it for my sticker sheets it's pretty easy but I received some comments asking like why do I not have the pockets that have already pockets in them like in the middle and the reason is that some sticker sheets are bigger than others so in some pockets in here I can fit two but some sticker sheets are like smaller so I can fit four, five, three, it depends. So I prefer to have these plastic pockets with the white sheet in the middle and have the sheets on one side and the other and in this binder this green binder I'm just keeping all of these small business stickers that I own because I received some stickers on sticker sheets from my pen pals and those I never knew where to store so I'm going to store that later but in this binder I just keep the stickers from small businesses or small shops and I organize them by brands or by shop in this case. This method works and the only problem is when the sticker sheets are too big and they don't fit by one centimeter on the plastic pocket. But to be honest, in that case, I just cut the header out or like the bottom portion of the sticker sheet and they fit. It looks a bit ugly when I film it and everything, but it's that or have more plastic sheets in one binder. On the third blue binder, the only thing that I keep there is random sticker sheets that I got for free or from bigger shops like Notebook Therapy, Stationery Paul, or from my pen pals that they don't really fit with the small shops category. But it's basically just for that. And if I have any sticker sheets that I don't know where to put them, I will put them in this binder. So I hope this method of organizing my stickers and sticker sheets and sticker flakes helps because this is the best thing that I've ever done with my stickers because I can easily see them and know if I'm running out of some of them or if I want to buy more. And I'm a very visual person so this method helps a lot and I love having my stickers in these binders.
Thank you.